All right, let's uh, uh, let's we should bring out uh, Demorge Brown. If he's here, I saw him here. All right, this is Mike Schneider from TV Guide Magazine. He's the chief content officer. <laughs> CCO, yo. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, you want to weigh in on, on the state of television? Nope. <laughs> yes. No, I, I mean, I, I don't know what else there is to say. Uh, it's changing, and it's changing. And I think that uh, the audience is di- sort of dictating the format right now. It's still finding its place. It's still grounding itself. But um, oh, here's a question. But that's but that's venue related, and the stories are you know everybody's sort of heightening stakes, and it's just the audience is responding to what it wants, and everybody else is trying to keep up. Speaking of which, well, well one more thing in the, uh, about TV the, that's an important breaking topic: algorithmic versus development. Like, like there's this new thing. And it's like no joke. Like Netflix was assembled by someone looking at a chart of Kevin Spacey fans also like political thrillers and also like what's her name um, like when right. they assembled a show uh, based on an algorithm but they, 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 they skipped that whole thing of like oh the writer comes up with an idea and then the suit like uh, you know helps him because uh, whatever <laughs> ostensibly suits no more than writers about making TV which is the dumbest idea ever. it's like doesn't make any sense but um and, and I see, you know, I see people having different opinions about that because it does sound a little Orwellian. I mean, Yahoo knew. I think I've told the story of like Yahoo knew that knew what Community was worth before they bought it, not what it was worth. I doubt they, I doubt they turned a profit on Community because the, the they probably paid a lot of money for it. So how would you make that back? I, I think uh, I don't think their intention was to turn a huge profit. I think their intention was to draw big numbers, and they knew that those numbers would be big because they they, they already knew. I had a conversation with them where they revealed that they already knew. Yeah, have they shown you any numbers? I mean, before the show aired, yeah, but they now, already ha- knew. Now, and, they- and they, yeah, everything is going according to their fucking weird, like uh, Jeff Goldblum and Jurassic Park. Uh, <laughs> like they they graphed out a bell curve, like they they the, of, of unique impressions p- potential and blah blah blah. It's just it's just going according to plan. They're like NASA technicians that just they were never worried about it. And I'm sitting there going, oh, gee, I hope uh, hope we do okay on Tuesday night because I'm like this caveman and. And they're like Silicon Valley people that are just like, they can like melt things with their eyes and uh, they get shit done for a living. And then there's like, like you contrast that with this, like these orange people, like, like these, these <laughs> development people that are like, so I don't think a female lead's going to work. Why don't, where, why don't you think, what are you, who are you? Where did you go to school? Is what it, seminar it, did you attend? Who it, are you? Hey, my name's Michael Jacobson. <laughs> You just burnt a bridge. You're not going to be able to build back, see? <laughs> I'm Mr. Hollywood. I make television. I'm Michael Dyke Jacobson. I hope, I hope there's no one actually named Mike Jacobson. <laughs> You're going to hear not from all of them. I'm uh, bright I'm... orange. I'm an orange person. <laughs> I, I have three posters on the wall behind me. One is for a show I worked on, which is a piece of shit. One is for classic TV that I didn't work on, and the other is for like some fucking French thing with, with a French title, so it looks like I'm smart. And I've never seen it. Does it I'm I feel, orange! I feel badly for shows like uh, like Homicide Life on the Streets that sort of had to run this, this gauntlet of, like, of anonymity and, and, and also being praised because they were forced into that network. Yeah, and there are a lot, a lot of those shows that would have lasted a lot longer if they'd been on now because they have that rabid fan base, but it just was the, well, the, the wrong popular time. popular and would have been seen more probably, right? I talked to people about that show, and they like, I have no idea what that is, and it blows my mind. It was because they mean, all love the wire. And it's yeah, it was ahead of it, ahead of the t- ahead of its time. So yeah. it would it would would have lasted like ten years now if it was on today. Yeah. And who knows? They're bringing back everything, so maybe, so maybe one day they'll bring that back. back. So right after an all new Fuller House. <laughs> <laughs>